Game Plan for Good is the podcast that brings you stories of world shakers and champions of change. Join us as we dive into the journeys of innovative business leaders who are making a positive impact and creating a better world. Uncover their game plans for success, discover groundbreaking innovations, and be inspired to unleash your own potential. Get ready for a brighter future in business with Game Plan for Good. G'day and welcome to Game Plan for Good. This is episode eight. I have Dean and Andrea McKellar here. Very excited about this podcast. You guys are from Teacher Presence, so you're the founders of Teacher's Presence. Teacher Presence. That's right, as in presence in the classroom, not the presence that you might get at the end of the year. Right, so can you explain what's Teacher Presence all about? It's an idea I had uh, a while ago. Um, At the end of the school year, I as a thank you from the parents, I often get, um, you know, cups like this that says best teacher ever, Mm. which I'm absolutely wrapped with the sentiment behind it. But at one stage, I just thought there's a lot of money in those type of gifts that we could actually redirect to someone else who needs it. So Mm. we came up with this concept called Teacher Presence, and it's about teachers and families going on a journey together And it's simply redirecting the money that they may have spent on a cup or a candle or a box of chocolates through teacher presence to some charities that we align with. Mm. Interesting. That's very different. Yeah, it's it's something new. As I explained to you the first time I heard that idea, I kind of thought, oh, okay. But yeah, it sounds sounds interesting. Um, It didn't grab me to start with. Until I started thinking about the numbers. Yeah. Uh, have you guys, you would have looked at the numbers, how much is spent on gifts for That's teachers? Right. Absolutely. Dean, um, yeah, well, can sure. you answer well, look, that one? Because uh, I, mean, I haven't I, heard I, your voice yet. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I, I sit in the background, very happily in the background. Um, it is certainly Andrea's concept. And my role was to really help her take, uh, as a husband and, and, and a person who works in a business role, is to take that concept and try and turn it into um, a a transaction platform to be able to, to support this. So, mm. yeah, we did look at the numbers mm. and we sort of sat down, you know, depending on the school and the economic environment they're in, but but people can spend, but teachers can receive anywhere from sort of two to $400 mm-hmm. a year um, for in a value of gifts from families. Yeah. So when we sort of sat back and said, you know, schools uh, have 20 to 30 classes in those schools and, you know, there's 10,000 schools around it, when you start to do the maths around that, you can actually sit back and say, there's already a significant amount of money Mm. being spent by families, Mm. given to teachers to thank them for their support and services Mm. the year, Mm. that um, doesn't need any more money to be generated. Just, you know, teacher presence is all about saying, if you choose, how do you take that money and put it towards something that maybe can make a difference. Right. And so the light bulb moment for you, were you standing at a trash can... Nearly. You had a trash can <laughs> at a bin. We're well, not in America. You were standing at a bin. Nearly. You had like four hundred dollars worth yeah. of mugs. I did, and, and you were like, you were just about to drop it in, and you're like, it, you know, it, I shouldn't be chucking this that, away anymore. There was what a, a couple waste. of uh, really light bulb moments for me, and one of them was that, you know, the first thing I do when I get a gift from a parent or a family is act the words, the cards. That's the sentiment that I love, mm. um, and they're they're really treasured to me. Um, and it was just looking at all these things and just saying, and I actually added them up. I, I Googled how much they all cost and it was around $400 there. Yeah. Um, so that was one. And I thought, surely as a group of passionate people, can we redirect this money or use this money somewhere else mm. to help people? Yeah. Kids and the, uh, the way we teach today is very global it's very much about empathy and gratitude. And I just thought surely somehow we could do it. And it really was a light bulb moment. I think mm. Dean and I went out for dinner and I told him about it. And once I speak about it, I like to try and bring it into fruition. So, yeah. And the other one was when I was driving home, I was listening to a, a Mark Bella, who is the co- who is the founder of one of our charities, Operation Toilets. And he was on 3AW. He was telling me this amazing story of girls in India Mm -hmm. not going to school because there's no toilets. So the lack of education and the impacts of that. And I just went home and I just rang him just there and then cold turkey. And that's where it started. And I said, Mark, I think I can help you. The the other important thing is, and I mean, I've been with Andrea for, you know, 28 odd years and 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 seen it's not just words about um, teaching kids 
you know, have empathy and gratitude, but you've got mm. to model and live those beliefs. Yeah. And it did seem a contradiction or hypocritical mm. to say this is about others and giving and, and selflessness, and yet I'm getting these gifts. Yeah. So I think the idea was sort of born out of her beliefs as well about yeah. saying, you know, I've got to, I've got to display the behaviours I'm teaching and modelling and trying to get young people to aspire to be. Mm. And yeah. if I'm doing this, then maybe that doesn't fit. So how can I... And I think that's... Yeah. That's the origin of the spirit of where it come from and then the idea started to, to mm. materialise. Right. I'm going to track back a little bit. Yeah. Um, how did you propose? <laughs> <laughs> that's probably a really good one. Um, we've known each other pretty much yeah. most of our lives. So um, some of our siblings are actually really close. I used to share a house with Andrea's brother uh, before we there's were going out. There's lots of stories in there. So there's lots of things. So we knew each other very well. So, um, yeah, so I guess uh, it sort of fast-tracked into it. So uh, it was a weekend away at the lake house um, up in uh, Dalesford. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So is where I proposed, yeah. I have to ask you this question. What is your game plan for good? <sighs> I'm, when we, we yeah. look at us, I'm, I'm about the empathy and the compassion. Uh, teaching children, uh, teaching or modelling that behaviour. I just think if the whole world was kind, how amazing would our world be, mm. you know, and showing these little bits of kindness by redirecting this money into really worthwhile charities that can actually do a lot of good for people. Mm. So mine's all about my, my end goal is just sharing empathy and sharing kindness and how easy and the impact it can be if we all give a little bit. Yep. That ripple effect, I think, for me. Mm. Awesome. Uh, and probably for me, um, you know, life teaches lots of different things. And I certainly resonated to something from um, the Resilience Project um, from Hugh, who's the, the, the founder of that, where he talked about people waiting to be happy. They say, mm. I'll be happy when, I'll be happy when. Mm. And the thing is about cel celebrating all the way and being happy on the journey. And I think for me, the, the game plan for good is that every single family that decides to join Teacher Presence, every single teacher who says, yeah, this resonates with me and I'd like to be involved, and then every fund we get to a charity that makes a difference, we'll celebrate those small steps. Mm. And then who knows if you have lots and lots of small steps and lots and lots of people involved, it's kind of exciting to think of the journey we could all go on. So I think that's mm. the game plan for us is to not yeah. think, you know, we've got a plan a long way ahead, yeah. but to make sure we stay in the moment and really celebrate yeah, all those beautiful. people getting involved. Yeah, awesome. Because it's very exciting when people jump on board and you, and you get the... You know, families talk about it and mm. the teachers are really enthusiastic. Yeah, mm. it's a real buzz that we're doing it together. And I really, we really instill that, that we're going on this journey together. Yeah. So it's about teaching kindness as well. Absolutely. Like it's, it's about not just um, just giving, but teaching how to be kind, yeah. to, how to be kind, how to give. Um, can you explain uh, now? I know you're working on the slogan right now. Yes. Uh, the gift that keeps, no, hang on. So, Tell me what it is. Yeah. Well, we started with the gift that makes a difference, but mm. I think it's bigger than that. Yeah. And so I think it's something like the gift that gives a gift because mm. the families are giving us a gift to the teachers. Yes. The only one who misses out is I don't get a carb, which is absolutely fine, but the gift I give as a teacher is to help people who really need it. Mm. And that's an amazing feeling. Yeah, yeah. It really is an amazing feeling to know that you're helping. Yeah. It's, so a, it's a chemical reaction in our bodies as well. We teach the kids about this, the, the importance of giving. Yep. And it makes you feel good and it, yeah. and it makes an impact. Yeah, I can, I can yeah. see what, where you're going with that. Like you, you have a mug and you're like, I don't need this mug. No. But there's someone on the other side of the world yep. who needs a toilet. Absolutely. Tell me about what really moved you. Uh, with the... Um, Operation Toilet. Operation Toilet, yeah. yeah. Oh, look, there's an amazing... He's actually uh, written a book called uh, Toilet Warrior and, you know, it's really worth reading. But I used to go on a walk here and I'd come home crying my eyes out because... Listening to the podcast. Listening to mm -hmm. the podcast, yeah. 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 Um, you know, these girls, they get to a certain age where they, you know, might have their periods or they need to go to the toilet and they there's no toilets 
at their school. So they simply stopped going to school. Mm. Um, and to think that, you know, my girls and the girls that I teach, that's not even a concern for them. Mm. Um, and so the impact of these girls going to school is that they do fulfil their dreams and they do become the teachers and the lawyers and the dancers or whatever they want to be because mm. they've had access to that education. Yeah. And they also, Operation Toilets, they also have an amazing hand wash um, program as hygiene, well, yeah, yeah. hygiene program as yeah, well, yeah. which re which goes along with that. Mm. And there's many stories of um, yeah. even the schools needing more water and, you know, drinking water. And Mark's like, well, why do you need more drinking water? And they said, well, the girls are actually drinking water at school now mm. because there's a toilet. So they used to yeah. come to school, if they came to school, and not even drink water. And you, you talked before about, you know, the gift that gives a gift. This takes it to the next level as well, that the gift we're giving them also means they get an education. Mm. So the choices they have and the opportunities to break the cycle of poverty and to change lives and break out of hardships by the, all of the charities we support mm. is that's the next gift because mm. it's actually looking at a generation change mm. that those people actually get funds. And, you know, we've been doing this for a few years and, you know, there's an amazing piece of video on our website um, which shows these young girls that have now got a toilet at their school mm. and they've gone back to those ki girls who are then staying at school and one by one the video shows each of them standing up as young girls saying what they want to be when they leave school yeah. and the choices they now have because of education yeah. to actually develop is really powerful if you get a chance. That's to an amazing, it. like yeah. just something as simple like we take it for granted, a, a toilet mm. makes such a difference. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when a student gives a teacher a gift, what's important to the student? The reason they do give it, I think, is to say thank you, one of the reasons. Um, and I think that, you know, if we teach them or we model that it doesn't have to be a physical gift. It can be a gift of kindness. It can be, you know, you go and do something for them, you volunteer. Um, there's lots of different ways to say thank you. Hmm. And I think this is just a really good way to do it for them. Well, yeah. With teacher presence, the way it's set up is that they still get to do that. Yeah. So it's also set up when they make when we redirect that funds to the ch to the nominated charities we support. There's, there still is an ability for each of the children to put and families to put in a message that goes directly to that teacher. So the teacher gets mm -hmm. that same feedback and same loop, and then once that donation goes to the charities that they choose, mm -hmm. then they all both the teacher and the students get feedback on what that money is being used for, mm -hmm. and they get you know, updates on that, and they can choose to get updates if they want. And, and we provide that to them regularly so that they can actually see that whole cycle of what the funds are doing yeah. and the teacher gets that. So there's still certainly the same feelings from the teachers, mm. but the whole family uh, is involved in that discussion. And there's four charities that we support, and Andrea can go through the four charities, but um, the families can also sit and talk about what each of those charities do. So yeah. it's a much broader concept about community and spirit and others who haven't got as much mm. and um, people who need help. And we talked about Operation Toilet, but there's different charities that have different... Um, areas of focus mm. so people can and families can talk about what resonates with them and what's important to them and what they'd like to make a difference and they can mm. be locally or abroad as well yeah now you guys aren't a charity you're a not-for-profit you partner with these four charities that's correct it's a good segue into yeah. telling us uh, about, a little bit about sure. what each of these charities are what you know what yeah. they do how they help yeah. and also uh, we want to give some value to anyone that's thinking of starting a not-for-profit or they've just started maybe a little bit of a backstory in, in how you partnered with those yeah. charities as well? Yeah. Well, I think when we first thought about it, we just trialled it with Operation Toilets. As I said, that was my story to start with. But then that was sort of a global one. It's also really important that um, when we're helping people, we also look in our own community because there's often a lot of need there as well. Mm. So we've tried to pick chari uh, charities that we support um, that have a, a different sort of lens. So one of the ones that we do is Berry Street, um, that's Melbourne based. A lot of educators will know about Berry Street and the amazing work that they do supporting vulnerable children, mm -hmm. getting to school, staying in school. Um, yeah. Do they do the lunches as well? Is that them? No, that's, that's another no. one. So that's Berry Street. Mm -hmm. The one that you're talking about is Eat Up. Again, right. yep. this is more an Australian wide one. Um, they're nearly all over Australia. Amazing charity. So they provide lunches for children that go to school without lunches. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, as a teacher, I know when the kids are hungry or they're lacking energy, there's no way that they can learn. Mm -hmm. um, they need that subsidence to sort of keep them going. Yeah. So they absolutely, they partner with some really, some businesses 
where they go and they make thousands of sandwiches and then they take them to the schools. Yeah. And so these kids then can have lunch and they can have snacks and that and they, you know, they can learn then. So mm -hmm. that's a really exciting one. We've got Berry Street, we said, we've got Operation Toilets. And the other one is, um, it's called the Community Spirit Foundation. Mm -hmm. So that's an Indigenous one in Australia. Awesome. It used to be called the Cathy Freeman Foundation, mm -hmm. um, just changed its name. But they do, again, amazing things around education, trying to keep um, the Indigenous uh, children in education mm -hmm. and supporting them going through really from really young to quite young adults as well. Yeah. So, yeah, a really broad range. And the teacher, with teacher presence, the teacher actually nominates which charity they would like to support. Yeah. So they go onto the website, they look at all the four charities and they pick the charity that resonates with them. Yeah. And then, luckily for the teachers, I hope I've done everything right for them. Um, We've pre-prepared letters and everything that they need to send all that information to their school community as well as their families. Yeah. So very little Amazing. work from the teachers if they want to jump on board. Awesome. And so, Dean, can you tell us a little bit about that uh, process of yeah, look, acquiring uh, these partners? Yeah. Oh, look, first of all, for us, we, we very conscious about what our role is. And our role is we support and we fund teacher presence. And so teacher presence doesn't take any money from any donations. The way it's set up is that when a family uh, chooses to make a donation to the nominated charity that a teacher chooses, then they go onto the Teacher Presence website and that takes them directly to the nominated charity. Mm. So 100% of all the money they donate goes directly to the charity. Yep. And they also get um, a receipt back for their taxation purposes that suits them for it. Mm -hmm. But it's really important to us that people feel comfortable um, and schools feel comfortable that there's really good governance around it mm. and it's really it. So there's certifications around the charities. It's been a lot of work goes in the background there to make sure that people feel really comfortable and the teachers feel comfortable yeah. and that families know that all the money they donate goes directly to the charity they choose. Mm. And then our role is to help redirect that money to those charities mm. and also to provide the feedback about what the chari the money is being used for mm. and also the opportunity to acknowledge a teacher. So that's really what Teacher Presence is about. Yeah. I yeah. think if people go to the website, they'll get a really good feel for it really quickly. I yeah. just want to make sure they're really comfortable with that. It's a great website, by the way. It's Thank really you. good, really Thank good. Thank you. Uh, and, and so what are some, in partnering with these, with these charities, um, what's important to you in terms of the charity and how they... Oh, look, use uh, how, how they use funds, how they operate. Yeah, well, we've been really selective in the charities that we pick. We, we, there are some wonderful big global charities and they have huge budgets and huge funds and huge fundraising. So we didn't think what we were doing was going to make a material impact to those. So we really tried to pick charities that were struggling and fighting to get exposure mm -hmm. and charities that the, the monies we can raise and we talked about the opportunity through redirecting those funds will make a real difference to them mm. and it gives them an opportunity to really broaden their uh, their reach and, mm. and help more families and and I think you know we've met with each of the people and we talk with them and we you know and when we was working through the process and you can see they're the people that also resonate with us that they're trying to make a difference in their community and yeah. a lot of them obviously because it's teacher presence have got a real opportunity to increase education mm. and that future opportunity for, for the next generation of kids. Yeah, awesome. So, what's um, we we spoke about what opportunity the opportunities that it gives uh, a students in in that they're giving a gift, um, that gives another gift, yeah. right? So, what about uh, for teachers and the broader community in the school? What are the opportunities there? Well, I, you know, I think it's a, a, about modelling, uh, modelling um, the kindness modeling gratitude and empathy you know the, t the schools that i teach in the children are very very fortunate and they have everything mm. but um some of them don't you know people around the world people in their neighborhood people in their community don't actually have that mm. so i think it, that's really important to show as well yeah I, I think just to on the teachers it's something that's really important to us is that it's a choice. Yeah. It's not. It's not us telling a teacher this is what you should do. It's not us telling a school what you should do. It's just a choice. Mm. So if a teacher has worked really hard and had is having a difficult time or and needs and those gifts are really important to them, please mm. take them, celebrate those gifts, and enjoy yeah. them, and you deserve them. Mm. So we we have you know absolute appreciation of how hard the challenge is. Yeah. A and and we we certainly want to make sure that it's each teacher's choice and they can and choose to be part of it or not. And if this resonates with them and they think, sit and think, um, do you know what, uh, that's probably something I could do without. Mm. And um, and I don't have to ask any of the families I, uh, that I teach to give any more money than they're already spending. Mm. So yeah. there's 
lots of choices in here. A teacher has a choice whether they want to be a part of it, mm. and a family has a choice if they want to give a gift. Mm. And um, you know, we, we want to make sure that everyone feels really comfortable in that space. But also, if each of the kids are bringing a gift in at the end of the year, and we and and the family is struggling, mm. it can be challenging to say the value of the gift compared to someone else. Yeah, so true. this is also a nice uh, behind the scenes way that you could donate a dollar. So it's not it's not public. Not, like it doesn't not, have a listing not, of this student gave this the te- much. No, the teacher this, yeah, the yeah. teacher sees the donation mm. and and gets the message. But it's not to anyone else. So the family mm. could give a dollar if that's all they could afford. Yeah. And they still get to write a beautiful gift, a beautiful note to the mm. teacher acknowledging what they've done and, and, and thanking them. And I think it's really mm. important yeah. in difficult socio and economic environments and challenging times that we it's really catered around as mm-hmm. much as you can afford yeah. and as yeah. much as you might have spent previously on a gift that, and the teacher I, can choose. I think that's really important. It is a choice. You yeah. know, it's a choice to jump on board teacher presents. It's a choice for families. And I even find that some people might give a, a gift and also donate or mm. they bring in a card and they donate. So there's lots, yeah. you know... It's just an alternative. Yeah, it's and not like teachers have to say no. to all of their students, look, the only way, you, if no. you want to give me a gift, you have no. to do it this way. Some no. teachers no. may yep. sign up with you guys Absolutely. and then it yep. may be two, stu- two, two or three students that, that go yep. through, through you guys yeah. and the rest of them, yep. they buy the mugs and yep. the... Yeah, and lemon butter and the we found else. some you know innovative ways teachers are pretty creative as well so you know in a, a school one teacher may choose to do it and their their colleagues say what's this about mm. um i don't even know at one school the the chris kringle the gift giving yeah. for between teachers they decided to do that through, it, teacher, through teacher presence, presence. Yeah. Mm. you know so there's mm. there's all different ways to to acknowledge it and, yeah. and we just want to make sure that certainly respectful and how challenging it is and that's that's important to us as well yeah, yeah. um and and so being uh, i was a teacher for yeah a full-time teacher for seven years, casual teacher for seven years. Um, and so I understand the workload mm-hmm. that's on teachers. So no doubt there'd be teachers who kind of think, okay, teacher's presence, teacher presence sounds good. I've got so much on my plate. I can't even think about anything else. Yeah. Yeah. How do you guys mm. make that an easy process yeah. for I, them? Yeah, I think uh, I'm very aware of that. Um, so... On the website, we actually have a tab there called the Media tab at this point. We might change the name. But on there is all the resources that a school or a teacher would need to inform their parents. Mm -hmm. So there's, if I say, teacher went on, if you came on, Chad, and you said, yeah, I really love this, you could download a letter and send it to the parents to explain about teacher presence. Yeah, so I'm not creating anything myself. You don't have to do that. There's presentations in the Media Centre about... Uh, if you went to your school and said, hey, this is what I'm doing, does anyone want to jump in? Mm -hmm. So the presentations you can show, there's posters. Mm -hmm. um, And there's even, as I said, teachers are really, we have a lot that we need to teach. So I didn't want to say, here's a lesson to introduce teacher presence, but I've just written Mm. 10-minute little lessons or little ideas about how you can tell your class about teacher presence. And one of them might be reading an extract from a book Mm. Or, or working out calculations like, oh, if I did get five mugs, how much money would that be? Yeah, you know, yeah. just bringing in there. So little minutes, little 10-minute things that will help teachers. I'm hoping I've, we've set it up in such a way that it's really easy for a school and a, a uh, teacher to jump on board and just it's all there in the media centre. And I'm often, you know, absolutely would love to hear back any feedback because, mm. you know, I've done it, it works for me, but for other people we might need something else. Really happy to help in that space as well. And we're also awesome. conscious that a teacher may want to inform their school about it. Mm-hmm. So we've done presentations to principals associations and so forth um, to make sure we've sat and asked and, and thought about all the questions they may have mm-hmm. and good governance and structure and reporting and all that stuff to make sure that they feel really comfortable as well. So um, hopefully... It is certainly <laughs> easy for them to yeah. be a part of it. Yeah. And some people might say it's an awkward conversation for me to raise with my students and, mm. and their families. Um, so we help frame that as well so that they can share it in a really uh, relaxed yeah. way. Yeah, fantastic. You guys are doing so Hopefully much. Hopefully we've covered You're doing great work and you're doing so many <laughs> things really well. Like I've seen the documents on, in, on your oh, media, good. media page. Yeah. It looks awesome. It looks Thank very, you. very education ish yeah. <laughs> um yeah it's it's yeah you're doing some Thank great you. things and um and w- my favorite page on your website so far is just there's this wall of faces of teachers oh, yeah. um that are that are on board with you yeah. guys which is which is really really cool yeah. um which just going on that chat it's really because all the families do once a teacher signs up 
we upload their photo. So mm. the family just has to go there, yeah. find their teacher, click on it, and donate like they would for anything. Yeah, that was my next yeah. question about how parents get involved. Yeah. Like, how easy is it for parents to just get on, find the teacher? Uh, they make the donation through the site. Yep. Yeah, yep. It takes them the straight. Each, oh, it takes them each, to each the, teacher yep. nominates the charity that they'd like to be a part of, mm. and it takes them straight to the nominated charity that yeah. is. And also, right. the letters written to explain what they're doing are customised for each of the charities that yeah. they've picked. Oh, right. But yeah. I've heard parents say, "Oh, they just sit in their car at car, you know at pickup, and yeah. they they do their Christmas thank you or their teacher thank you, and they've, it's yeah. all done." Yeah. You know, it's also about commercialism. Like, how much do we actually need? Like, mm. you know, you know. In the back of my mind, it, it's also a little bit about that. Like, it shouldn't. It should be just a thank you, a heartfelt thank you for me. It's is, like a social, the, your social yep, justice. A little, um, yep, yeah, because you mentioned that. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's so easy too because, yep. like you say, you can sit in your car, or you shouldn't yep. use, your, use your phone while you're in oh, your car. Oh, when they're parked, <laughs> when they're parked. waiting for the kids to come out, Shad. Yes, yeah. of course. The cars off, keys <laughs> yeah, are out. Right. They're parked. They're in All park. right, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Not as they're driving. Oh, yeah, I've got to give the you're teacher the a gift. And uh, quick, no. Um, it's very so, simple. Yeah, really. So saves saves time. Yep. It's giving to a great cause. Yep. It's teaching the the their child how uh, about giving. Yep. Um, teaching them empathy and all of those sort of, sort of things. Absolutely. Appreciation for the teacher all at the same time. So it's really innovative what you guys Thank have you. done to be yeah. able to think. Well, how can we? Yeah. How can we make this really beneficial for the world? How can mm. this impact the world and actually at the same time make it easier for yep. teachers for parents. Um, and, you know, yeah. the school community. So. And you were talking about the parents and that. We also, you know, they can jump on the social media and see the impact that their donations have had. Mm. Um, and we also send out a newsletter as well that mm. will let them know, um, you know, some things that are happening within these charities. And yeah. because it's in that within those charities, it's the impact that we, we yes. bring as well. And that's the other thing, obviously. You're giving exposure to these yeah. these charities too. Yep, absolutely. Which is awesome. Yeah. So it's good. a nice circle, hopefully. Um, all right, cool. So, where are you heading? Where's 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 <laughs> teacher presence going? Like, what's what's Ooh. happening now? And and, and yep. where's and I know you love to be in the moment, as you've mentioned. <laughs> yeah, but no, but we we're certainly planning. You definitely sure. have yeah, a plan. We're, yeah. we're, we're you know we we've given it a lot of thought and put a lot of trust in it. So we certainly have destinations that we're trying to get to. Um, what's probably you know been a great testimony is the teachers that have joined us in year one have said this is fantastic and one year two and it, it keep rolling on so yeah 100 yeah. percent right yeah, yeah it's 100 yeah. percent of people have, re, have re, um, joined us each year mm. it's an annual thing that each year it's a new set of kids in with that teacher and it's a new set of money available to be raised mm. and so teachers find that it's it gets easier and easier and then we've seen those teachers talking to their colleagues about it and, it's, and it start to ripple through other teachers in the same school mm. so where it's heading for us is really just about yeah. getting that message and you know we're really thankful and appreciative of your support to help us do that but to get it to more and more schools to more and more people mm. every time we get the opportunity to explain it to someone they say that's really clever <laughs> that's that's really that's really different that's really innovative yeah. and, yes. and you're not asking me to go and spend any more money than i am mm. yeah. so they sort of sit back and say well yeah if my teacher's okay with it i'd like to be a part of that and then when you talk to a teacher about this say that does actually resonate with what I'm teaching yeah, and yeah. what I believe and, and, I do, you know, and I could do without the box of chocolates or whatever it is, you know. Mm. Um, so yeah. I think we've got something really unique here and yeah, something, you is. know, worth talking about and, and we just really see the next step for us is it getting wider and wider. We don't, we don't know how far it can go. So, mm. um, but, you know, all the signs so far is it's pretty exciting and yeah, yeah. We, we think, you know, if people get a chance to have a look at it and it resonates with them, then we'd love them to, you know, help us do it and, mm. Those people are also the, the ones who are then spreading the message because mm. they're teaching families about it, they're teaching schools about it, and so the, the journey's pretty, you know, you're in the early stages. <laughs> Imagine how much a student along, can you know? give from prep to grade yeah, th exactly. to grade six, yeah. how much yeah. they can give, yeah. or how much one cohort or one class could give from, exactly. from prep through to grade six. Or a, a whole school know. in a year. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, it's pretty, when you start thinking about it, there's actually a lot of revenue there that can, yeah. we can actually make a huge difference in people's lives. And that's yeah. that's really impactful. I think that's really cool. Yeah, I reckon you yeah. guys could make a difference in secondary teachers' lives as well because you could re redirect some of the gifts to secondary teachers. Because <laughs> they never, I never got a gift. I got a couple of cards in about yeah. 14 yeah. years. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even though I was an exceptional teacher, I never got a mug or... Yeah, yeah, anything like that. that but I wonder, yeah. It does resonate very strongly with primary schools yeah. and we see yeah. that's a consistent behaviour. Mm. Um, 
you know, there's lots of innovative people out there and who knows in a, a, a few years down the track that we come up with a, a variation on it that can help other organisations. It could be coaches yeah. in sport. Yeah. It could be, you know, teachers in secondary schools. It could be, uh, you know, the concept mm. about mm. redirecting money that's being spent on a gift to people that need it. Yeah. I mean, this could go much broader. Yeah. But, you know, so it's starting in teacher presence yeah. in primary schools. But, you know, really good minds have been... We've been really lucky and been supported by people who've helped us with animation. Mm. Amazing, um, you know, graphic designer and, and marketer, Declan Cox, who who's helped us with the website and so forth. I mean, these people have donated all of their time yeah. and efforts um, out of their own money, you know, time to do it. And, and we've just been touched by the generosity of people. And you guys Yourself, are a great yeah. example. Yeah. That say, hey, I think I can help you. And so... Who knows how we could adapt it to to look at other organisations that money's mm. coming into that could be redirected and mm. and if those organisations you know could, could uh, see the benefit from it, then maybe there, there's a way for us to, to look broadly as well. Yeah, it's not yeah. bad. Not bad, is he? Huh? <laughs> He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. <laughs> it's been nice because we've actually we've obviously done this together. We're both mm. passionate. We've both been different things. We think we have the model right now. Yeah. We, and and now it's just about telling people and how do we do that and you know like yourself helping out so much Shad and we really appreciate it and yeah just seeing what happens because it's pretty yeah. yeah I think it's a simple easy way for people to make a huge difference I think you guys are a great team <laughs> like you guys are just, I'm all, you're I, a great I, I, team I, I, I say I'm, I'm Andrea's <laughs> it's Andrea's idea so I just want to be really clear on that and she yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. really happy that yeah. she shines in the front and she's the face of it because the values that it's pin, underpinned mm. uh, uh, resonate really strongly with it, and she yeah. does live and breathe and and you know display these values in her classroom. As I say, she's taught for it for decades, and this is just another opportunity to take it broader. And I'm more than happy <laughs> to be the business guy in the background, all right? Yeah. But I think yeah, we need yeah, we yeah. need both sides, and we, I think we it support works each really other well. with different skills for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's comes awesome. together well. That's fantastic. Yeah. What are three What are three obstacle major obstacles that you guys have needed to overcome? Yeah. Um, in order to grow yeah, yeah. teacher presence to where it is now? Yeah. One that I would say, and I talk about it and I, I listen to podcasts, is vulnerability. Like actually having a go and putting yourself out there. Like that mm. was really that was really hard. And it still is to this day quite hard to put myself out there and just to show that courage. But again, I talk to my kids that I teach. It's hard to be vulnerable, mm. but it's really important because it shows that we have courage. Mm. And... If I don't succeed, at least I've had a really good go. So that, that for me, was a really big step. As I said to you before, Shad, once I told Dean about my idea, that was it. I had yeah. to have a go now. Mm. Um, so that's that's been a really hard thing hard yeah. thing to get to get going. Um, probably, you know, th three things. Probably one of them is taking a concept mm. and turning it into something and how the transaction would work and how we would get funds to charities and, and to build it. You know, that, that's certainly... Um, the idea is fun, but sitting mm. and turning yeah. into a material thing has been a pretty big obstacle. Yeah, because you need it. You need the charity. Yeah, like we you do. Need the and you have to sort of, you need it. Yeah, you yeah. sort of have to go in their back door with mm. all the. We use a platform called Raisley uh, yeah. to go in their back door like that. So Declan Cox, a graphic designer, he's been really good communicating with them, and you know we obviously set up all the communications with them. But then Tony he and has Taylor. to. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Taylor, yeah. yeah. We we also have to then you know work out a way to do that, and that's quite yeah. tricky. So and explaining that to the charities because it's something different. Yeah, How can we yeah. get into the back? Your back door, sort of, yeah. 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 And it was really important for us, you know, we, we've learned from others. And, you know, yeah. when you say, like, learnings and that, watching what others have done and for us to make sure that um, we've got the model right, that the 100% of the funds go straight to the nominated charities mm. and the transparency on that for anybody to look at was, is a really clever model. Yeah. So we're not actually taking any of the funds at all and we don't, and we don't um, uh, need... Uh, people to donate money to us that's mm -hmm. we want it to go to the to the end users and so I think getting that uh, set up is something that's innovative in how we've set it up yeah and we needed to work through how that would work and you know rotary as well we're you know we're a really good supporter to help us understand all that mm -hmm. and we've talked to lots of different charities we've mm -hmm. talked to different organizations um, that have been on this journey and learned from their experiences and that's probably what your yeah. podcast doing <laughs> um, you know so it's 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 a great tool but to um, to just start off cold and go the wrong way and destroy the brand you have because you didn't have it set up properly is something we're really conscious of yeah. and make sure that we have that trust and transparency from all the families and schools and teachers involved that mm. they feel really comfortable to support mm. it was, was really important to us and, and our own integrity is, you know, is, is, says it has to back that up.
Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. And I do talk. I, <laughs> I do. I just put myself out there. I just talk to people all the time. Yeah. And just say, can I have five minutes of your time? And you know, people once they understand it are really happy. But doing that is really hard. Mm. But as I said, if you want to start something. Just have a go, put yourself out there, be really vulnerable because the kickbacks can be really worthwhile. Yeah. What was it for you, like, when you started to see some interest uh, from teachers and, like, how did that feel? Or what, yeah. Was there a moment where you kind of thought, people are actually getting yeah. on board this? This yeah. is actually. We have lots of testimonies um, from teachers and parents and families, you know, and a lot of parents describe it as a win win. I show my child that we can do this and we also helping teacher presence to help other people. Mm. So, yeah, there's been lots in that space, absolutely. Yeah. And were there, there was one other obstacle I think you mentioned in the green room. Um, can you think of what that was? Oh, probably the, the last obstacle is probably about letting people, how, letting people know. How are we going to do that? How are we oh, yeah, move that's your, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's, the, that's probably the, the, the big hurdle is to make sure that we, you know, continue to spread the message mm. and try and understand how to do that yeah. and putting ourselves out there and <laughs> getting from out of the background <laughs> to here um, and, and making sure that, you know, we, we show the courage that we talk about and, and put ourselves out there. It's probably the, 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 the big next yeah. step. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because what's really worked for you so far is just that networking. That's correct. Yeah, creating that interest and that um, yeah. the excitement and building your, building your community. And yeah. now, yeah, now, and now it's, it's just about that. Step. You building know. the awareness and yeah we've been you know we've been playing around with the names of the people that have been joining us we're not sure what the right name is but they're contributors they're ambassadors they're team members mm -hmm. um it's you know it's not about us it's about mm -hmm. the, the the good at the end mm -hmm. and supporting those charities so it's really getting to the next step now where there's people in their schools um, as a teacher that signs up, they're the they're the face of teacher presence in their school, not yeah. us. Yeah. And they've got a website and messages, and we can we can you know continue to help trying to to, to grow it. Mm. But they're driving the activity, and they're the face of teacher presence in their school. Mm. Yeah. And I think once they get it and they're enjoying it and they see the rewards and the benefits, then they're you know helping us spread the message. So it's just really getting across these steps, but it's moving pretty quick, which is good. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, you guys are doing a great job. Um, how can people get involved? Um, people, when I say people, teachers are the people that you really well, need to... Well, the teachers are the core, I guess, because they direct it. It's very teacher-directed. But even just telling your school about it, um, families talking about it, um, telling people from different schools about it, mm -hmm. um, yeah, getting on the website, having a look what it's all about, looking at the charities we support. Um, yeah, just ha just get... yeah. The, the you know, two simple calls to action yep. for us. And, and one is, you know, if they can look for teacher presence on our social media platforms and follow us is great because yep. that gives us an opportunity to share the message. Yep. And we'd love if all those what people... What platforms are you on? We're Facebook. on Facebook and Instagram, yeah. Yep. Yep. yep, so if they can go onto that and they'll find teacher presence um, would be great. And that, that gives an opportunity to continue to spread the message. Mm -hmm. And then just to simply visit the website and spend a couple of minutes to have a bit of a surf around these... No obligation, there's no yeah. commitment they need to make. Mm -hmm. And they'll actually get a really good feel for it. And hopefully... Um, the little insights we've talked about now about how it works and, and the charity we support, they can go in there and, and as much as they choose, they can have a look. And if they like it, um, you know, then hopefully they can start to follow our journey and share it. And, mm -hmm. you know, uh, teachers have a choice whether they want to be a part of it. But, you know, yeah. talking about it in a classroom or mentioning it to a teacher or a teacher mentioning it to the kids, they're the great outcomes mm -hmm. that will start the conversation. Mm -hmm. And it's also, um, you know, teachers, but um, I teach grade five, six, um, and the kids really get involved in it. Like mm. they understand now, as I said before, they're quite global, the kids, and they go home and they talk to their families about it. It's not just the parents doing it. Mm. We also want the kids and it's, it's this journey we're doing together and, hey, look at the amazing thing. If we work together, what we can do together and mm. that's a really strong message that I, we try and get through as well. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah. So where – how many schools – how many students, how many donations, how many lives do you want changed? Mm. Like, what is your, mm. what is your measurable like, mi mission? Yeah. Yeah. How long is a piece of string? Um, <laughs> I, I'd love every school to at least have teacher presence as part of their discussion. Mm. And then they can choose whether they'd be part or not. But if every school's aware of it, and then each school can then talk, and the teaching cohort can talk about whether that's something that resonates with any of them, they want to be a part of it. 
that would be a great. That would be great. That'd be a great. That would outcome. be really cool. And you know, as um, you know, as we grow to look, you know, to, for other charities that we can support, and you know, and, and start to understand um, needs, and they're always changing. Um, I think that'd be really great, and just to continue to, to to make an impact to those charities. Pick charities that um, the funds that we give them will make a meaningful difference mm. to, to their opportunities to support people. Mm. I think that that's kind of the, the next few steps, yeah. and. Um, you know, I think if we do that, the the money will look after itself because it'll just be going from families straight to the charities that they pick. Yeah. And we don't need to be a part of that money. Mm. That's for the charities to make sure that mm. they deploy correctly. And the charities, if you get a look, you know, yeah. you, they're amazing. You know, mm. there's there's they're a cool. whole group of... So have a look at your site, but go to the chari- yeah, yeah. charity yeah. sites you know, as well. And we, are humbled they do. By, we are humbled by these people, how mm. selfless they are to, to make, you know, there's yeah, 10,000 sandwiches, sandwiches, you know. And, you know, there's not a teacher that exists that probably hasn't given up their lunch for a kid who's starving at different times. Or had yeah. vulnerable and, and, kids know, that can't get to school you know, and, you know. Yeah. It, All those things that will resonate with teachers that, that they see this. Mm. And then these charities are people that have committed their lives to actually doing it. They're the yeah. you know, mm. absolute heroes in this. Yeah. And to get a chance to have a look at what they're doing would be spectacular. Yeah. It'd be great. Yeah, we need to support them. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. all their links are on our website. Obviously, as a teacher, you go in and you look at all the different charities that you might like to support. So it's mm. all there on the website for people to have a look and see what these charities do. But it's really good to get the kickbacks too. Mm. Uh, just recently, Operation Toilets, they had a huge project. They work I- uh, alongside Rotary um, and they... It was really cool for teacher presence because they had a, a plaque with all the rotary people, but down the bottom it had teacher presence. For our donations for our to donations. building the toilet, oh, toilet oh, blocks in the school. Just, so, yeah, it was great. I just sent it out straight away and said, hey, guys, how cool is this that we get to be seen that we are helping these girls get to school? And, you know, mm-hmm. things like that make a really big difference for us. And they're really good feeding these things back to us as well. Even awesome. um, another nice one too is yeah. just the vision of the – eat up van yeah. pulling out of the car park full of all the food to take off that all the kids chasing after the yeah. chasing after the van that they'd all made up um, to give to the kids. Yeah, you know, we, snacks yeah, yeah. Well, uh, my school we did a, a snack drive for eat up mm-hmm. and so all the kids just donated we had boxes and boxes of snacks and that went to eat up and he came with his big they have a big van has eat up on the side I think its name's Gertrude in Melbourne the van <laughs> And oh, the van. Yep. Lyndon, who is this, uh, the founder yeah, of yeah. Eat Up, he came out and he's just a wonderful presence and a wonderful speaker and told the kids how much, you know, these muesli bars and everything that you're giving is going to make for our charity to help other people. Yeah. And really powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Any final words? No, look, we've worked really hard, I think, to get where we are. We're really proud of what we're trying to do and we would absolutely love people to help spread the word and, yeah, to get on board and, yeah, let's, you know, give a gift that gives a gift. I think that's where we're going maybe. (laughs) Yeah, and also appreciation to you guys for for supporting us and giving the opportunity to to share our message is is, is certainly appreciated. It's really nice sometimes, you know, sometimes we feel like we work in a vacuum. So for someone like... You know, you to come and say, wow, what you're doing is amazing is really good credence for us and it keeps us going. So really appreciative. Yeah, well, that's spot on. I think I think you guys are amazing. I Thank think you, you do an amazing thing. Um, and I, I think you're really going somewhere with this. I think, I again, so. like the feedback you get, it's a really innovative idea. It's it's so easy for people to get involved and it's just re- redirecting yeah. um, from in this high con- hyper-consumerist world we live in. Yep. Um, just saying, yep. hey, hang on a second, this isn't about things, this is about people. This yeah, is about right. having an impact. Um, and this is about teaching young people to be altruistic yep. um, as well. So I love what you guys are doing. You're doing an amazing job. Thank uh, you. Thank you so much for coming onto the podcast. This is exactly what Game Plan Brilliant. for Good is about. Sounds it's wonderful. It's about supporting people, people like you guys, um, with with a, a really, really, really cool game plan for good. So thanks for coming on, and it's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, pleasure. No, we so really I'm, appreciate I'm gonna, it. I usually shake hands, but I'm going to give you a high five. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Love, it. Love it. Appreciate your help. Bang. No worries. Thank you. Thank you for watching Game Plan for Good. Stay connected with us on social media to discover more game-changing stories and gain valuable business insights. All of our episodes are recorded in our assertive media studio in Melbourne. 